To detect what operating system is running on a machine or a subset of machines, you can use the tool nmap dash capital O plus the IP address of one machine or a range of machines. So if I hit enter, nmap is now going to do a port scan of the machines listed as well as provide its best guess for the operating system. This obviously is important because certain exploits are not going to work on uh, a Windows if they're meant for a Linux, and the contrary is also true. So I have two machines that I scanned here, the dot .11. It did a port scan, and there's many ports open, as you can see. And at the end, it'll tell you what operating system it believes it's running. So in this case, it's telling us that a Linux 2.6 something version is running. And it was able to do that and give us that information because it identified that a Linux kernel 2.6 is running. If you go to the OS details, it says Linux 2.69 to maybe 2.633. That's pretty detailed and it is uh, pretty good. Um, so Nmap does a pretty good job with that. Um, in the next machine, it says that it is running a Microsoft Windows 7 or 2008 or an 8.1. So here you see a little bit, bit more of a range um, and map is not able to predict with narrow certainty which one of these is running. However, it did list Microsoft Windows 7 first. Um, if we go to the OS CPE as well, the uh, common common platform enumeration, I think this stands for, um, it says that a Microsoft Windows 7 is its best guess. So how did it do? Well, actually, I am running a Metasploitable 2, which I'm pretty sure does run on a Linux uh, kernel 2. It is a VM machine that is meant to be uh, completely vulnerable. And the second machine is running a Windows 7 machine. So all in all, MAP did a pretty good job in identifying these.